Welcome everyone to episode 24 of Data Science and AI Weekly. This is the second episode in this video podcast and uh, here we are again with another very interesting episode which is your first 60 days as a data scientist. As you look to get into data science roles, the one of the things that you need to be thinking about is that let's say that you get the data science role that you've been wanting to add a salary that you want and at a company that you want. But what after that? What next? After that is something that you should also be thinking about because it will not only prepare you for the role that you will be handling, but will also give you clarity about uh, what kind of interview questions you can expect and you'll be better prepared for facing uh, recruiters when you will be sitting across the table. So let's start with day one. On day one, you join as a data scientist. Everybody thinks that you are a real scientist. Everybody thinks that you're going to be a superman who will solve all problems in the company through data, right? So uh, the first first day you are, you some people will quizzically look at you. What do you exactly do? Some people might uh, have questions around what is data science. They might not even know why the company has hired you in the first place. And if you are a part or if you join an established company with an established data science practice, then you can expect that they, you would be joining a bunch of data scientists uh, headed by a principal data uh, scientist. So there the chances of uh, them knowing what you'll be doing are much, much better. Yeah. So your first day is about introduction uh, to the team, to the company, to the company policy, etc. Now the next 10 to 20 days are going to be very, very, very crucial because these are the days when I want you to do three things specifically. Number one is you need to learn as much as possible about what your team's different members are doing, right? So let's say that you have a principal data scientist and then you have senior data scientist, then you have data scientist and let's say your junior data scientist. So you should talk to each one of them and you should try to understand that what exactly are they doing because that will give you clarity about the kind of work that you can expect and you would be actually doing. The second thing that you should try to learn is you should try to learn more about the projects that the comp that, that team is currently undertaking if it is undertaking multiple projects or if the team is currently undertaking one project you should try to learn as much as as much as possible about it, how long the project has been going on, what are the KPIs, what is the next project that you will be working on, etc, etc. So understanding of the projects is extremely, extremely important. The third part is something which I see a lot of data scientists actually not doing uh, when they join data science role. That is, they don't try to ask questions regarding how does data science fit into the overall company structure. Let's say for example, you're joining joining Citibank and Citibank has a data science team. Now you need to find out what are the connections of the data science team with the various stakeholders in Citibank. And you need to find out, let's say, who, which all stakeholders usually deal with the data science team. Is it the clients? Is it is the data science team de de uh, dealing with Citibank's clients, internal employees, CXOs, etc. And possibly try to have a couple of meetings, right? Most likely, most people will be more than happy to meet you. So forming your initial uh, hypothesis about what is going on and at the same time, making the people know that you are here, right? Always helps get you uh, visibility fast and helps you get interesting work faster, right? So that's what uh, you are supposed to do in 10 to 20 days. After that, in the next uh, 20 in the next 20 days, so now you have uh, now 20 to 30 days have passed. Now, in the first month, you would have a good hold about about what you are expected to do. In the second month, now it is all about do getting on the task and getting your head down on the task. So in this uh, month, what you would do is you would have defined some problem statement or some work that you would need to do in the first month, you will start executing on the task, right? In the second month, 
you will actually start getting noticed for a your work ethic b your hard skills which is your python skills your r skills your ability to manipulate data etc and if you feel anywhere that your skills uh, are maybe not that strong first of all what you should do is you should go back home every day and try to learn there's no end to learning and even if you become a data data scientist please do not assume that you would know everything you would just maybe know 10% of what there is to know every day you should make an effort to go home and read up more practice more on python practice more with some of the algorithms and the second thing that you you should do if you're not able to understand some of the things is ask more and more question to your team members since you're just starting off they would be more than happy to help you the second month is also about showing some quick wins to the company so what cannot happen is that you have now joined and you are waiting for some couple of quarters to show some results if you are sharp if you are passionate you should show results in month 2 and that's something that i would highly highly recommend because that gives you that initial uh, uh advantage that other people see that you are good at this it can be a C- sequel it can be understanding client interaction you would want that uh, to be taken to client meetings and you would say that can i take more of these client meetings so whatever is your forte start showing some quick wins in the second month and if you do that trust me the rest of your journey will actually become very 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 quick right so here's a quick summary start start well network with a lot of people third is uh try to learn as much as possible fourth tip is have some quick wins in the second month of your joining itself right so that were those are my tips for you in your first 60 days as a data scientist uh, i hope you would have loved those tips if you did leave a comment i'll always read every comment i would love to see your comment as well this was episode 24 of data science and ai weekly this is the second episode in the video series of this podcast thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next podcast till then see you